Good morning. Hello. How is everyone? It's Sunday and we're trying to make the most of a, another overcast day in Britain. Yay. So we're going to try and get out and do gonna something. Dodge the rain showers. So Erin's in the back. Say hello, Erin. Hello. Yay. And we are in Chichester and we're going to check out a car boot sale because we are living <laughs> the dream. That's how we roll. Yeah. So let's go and check out and see I what. Be Dora. You can... Yeah, because we're going on an adventure. Yeah. Does that mean I have to be monkey again? Yeah. You. Monkey? Daddy, you... Daddy can be monkey then. No, you. <laughs> right. So let's go and have a look around this car boot sale. See Hopefully, if you get some bargains. Get some bargains. See ya. Bye. See ya. So we haven't been to a car boot sale in like ages, so this is going to be interesting. How long has it been since we've been to a car boot sale? Oh, before Aaron was born, I would, I would say. But hopefully we'll pick up some bargain toys. Some bargains. We've got the micro muff on today as well because it's really windy. It's windy. When were I born? When were you born? Before you were born. When's your birthday, Erin? August. August. August, yes, well done. Big four. You've had an interesting week this week, haven't you, Erin? What did you do this week? Um, you went and saw your new school? Yeah. And who who else did you see? Chloe was in my school. Chloe's your best friend, isn't she? And she's going to be in your new class, isn't what, she? What class are you going to be in, Erin? Um, uh, You're going to be a... Hedgehog. Yay! Do you know the name of your teacher? Um, Mrs. Tasty. Yeah. And Mrs. Moss. Well done. Talk about great minds think alike. <laughs> we were just, because we're in Chichester, cool. we thought, oh, we might bump eight into eight Dan and Faye from Party of Two. But Chichester's a big old place, yeah. and if they like car boot sales, then maybe yeah. we will. <laughs> so, you after any bargains in Hipper? Um, yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know, you have to anything. No. Just something to do. Hey, look, look at the cloud. Horrible. This is like the 3rd of July. It's about 18 degrees. This time last year we were in like upper 20s. So you don't know whether to put on shorts, jeans, wear a coat, a cardigan, or t-shirt. Umbrella. So being a family, <laughs> we've got every eventuality covered. Check out Pippa's Sephora bag, look. I love my Sephora bag. That's a freebie as well. <laughs> 250 point perk. It's amazing, I love it. So any of our overseas friends that have never seen a car boot sale in the UK, this is pretty much what it is. You turn up with your car or your van, you pay to pitch, and you just sell whatever you've got. Usually it's any old tap, but oh, this looks quite good. They've got Lego figures. Might have to check that out in a minute. But yeah, you just literally open up your car, put out your little table displays, and sell whatever you want to sell. And this is quite a big thing in the UK every Sunday. Check out the minifigs this person's selling. Got the original Buzz, Woody. Minecraft. Anyone want any bags? There is some tat though, isn't there, that people try and flog. But then, like they say, one man's junk is another man's treasure, isn't it? We could have enough for a stall. More bags. A lot of it is like books, bags, DVDs and CDs. Get the occasional jeweller. Like, oh there's one over there, look. That one there is two pound and that one's a pound. That's three pound for the pound. Good, are you? There you go. You can buy the top half of a mannequin. Because you never know when you're going to need a propeller. Hello, 
Just rushing back to the car because I forgot my damn phone. It's amazing how we rely on technology these days. It's ridiculous. It takes over your life. All has been restored. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. So Erin's happy. She's just got this Arna and Elsa backpack, and brand it was new. brand new, and it was a pound, one pound. What a bargain! It really is amazing the amount of crap people sell. And don't get me wrong, there's some good stuff. But some people just rock up and look, literally just chuck it on a table, don't even arrange it. Close. We just picked up some bargains, haven't we? What do we pick up? We got some books for a pound. Five kids' books for a one pound. Don't. Don't what? Don't show them to everybody. Don't show them to everybody because they're all one of them. They're all one of them. They're one. Of, it's a secret. Yeah, the car boots are where it's a secret. <laughs> Two pounds. You should have made a deal. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy. Pippa needs some practice and lessons in the art of haggling at a car boot sale. Two pound. I would have offered a pound. I would have offered a pound for that, but there you go. What bargains did you pick up, um, Pippa? <laughs> um, Was there any Sephora there? No. There's a lot of knockoff stuff there. Was there? Isn't it? Erin's super chuffed. Erin's <clears throat> really well. All She's got her like buggy. Brand new. Yeah, it's one thing you get is people selling brand new stuff or, or nicked stuff, <laughs> but you won't know that. Wow. But that was two pounds, that's a bargain. She's really happy. Erin, what are we going on? <clears throat> So we're going to take it all back to the car and then we're going to go and have a look around Chichester and get some lunch and see what happens. We're on one of our magical mystery days where we have no idea what we're doing, we just see what happens. They're not black. No. They're not black. Stuck in traffic. What is going on? What is going on, Pippa? Um, there's traffic. It's moving now. It's probably in traffic lights. Wrong gear. I love Old McDonald's. Old McDonald's or Old McDonald's. Clear, I can play right there. This is this is a new McDonald's. It's starting to rain. Oh no! The washing's out. Oh, it's all right, old British. But this this McDonald's went up in about oh, a month. I can't, John. We don't eat at McDonald's yeah. much at all, do we? No. We really don't. No. It's a bit, a little bit drippy, isn't it? It's, it's raining as well, again. again. It's not good. Oh, no. Look at this. You didn't wait to have a look at the menu. <laughs> just dripping the stuff. staff were being super nice to us because I think they spotted that we had a camera and I, I don't know if they think we we're sort of <laughs> mystery shopper. shoppers. But there we go, see what happens here. Bye, Bye. Uh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks. Bye. And you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs> they were super nice McDonald's in uh, North Arbour. Thank you very much. I know it's new. You probably spat on food. But the novelty may wear off. But they were super, super nice. Thank you. 
back out. Yay! They're both the same. What are you doing, Pippa? Thank you. What was that all about? I've just seen what time. Look at that. What time has it made? 12.46. 12.46 and it is now 12.57. Ah! So what do we get? We got, we're parked up, living the dream, having our 199 wraps, freshly made to order. We got a chicken, chicken and bacon. grilled chicken barbecue wrap, made with loving care. 100. The 100. What did you get, Aaron? You got fish fingers. Yeah. And nice. Pippa, Pippa, Clayton. how was your grilled barbecue chicken wrap? <laughs> it was okay. I'm a bit of an issue with chicken at the minute. That was a bit spongy. A bit spongy? <laughs> I, I don't bit like spongy, spongy chicken. Too. I'm not sure what spongy is all about. but <laughs> You liked it. Yeah, I'm it was nice. One ninety nine. I was spongy. You were spongy. You're eating your fish fingers. Not sure that it's enough though, you know, you could probably, I could eat two, but that's just being gutty, but I like them, I think they're nice, because that's how we roll. <laughs> we rap. That's how we rap. <laughs> rap and roll. My name is Pippa. Don't, don't, don't do that. Please don't do that. Seriously, we're going to lose subscribers now. Yeah, anyway, me. anyone wants to know where we're actually at, we're sat in a gravel car park at a place called Port Solent in Hampshire. This is where a lot of um, people have uh, sort of the Yellow Welly Brigade come down here, don't they, and have yeah, their boats moored up. Got some nice restaurants, haven't they? We went to one called Wildwood. Wildwood, yes, yeah, a chain apparently. Yeah, yeah this, um, we went there on Wednesday. Was it went? No, Friday. Hmm. We went there on Friday and that was yeah. a really nice meal then. They Definitely did a recommend it. meal, didn't they? Two for two, two. courses for ten pound. Yeah. yeah, absolutely stunning. Yeah, that is really yeah. nice. Really good. Burgers are like they're homemade. You can tell they're homemade. Mm. I just had the way you like your it. You did, didn't you? <laughs> but yeah, it's got a few eateries. Got a a big cinema and it's got uh, a nice play area for little ones. Yep. So it's worth coming down. But enough of this boring talk. I'm sure you'll edit it all out. No. <laughs> it's riveting stuff. <sighs> a day in the life. A day in the life of living the dream. <clears throat> We've had a busy week though, haven't we? We have had a busy week. It has been really busy. Pippa finished her job this week, didn't you? You're now a lady of leisure. I am. <clears throat> yep, she I'm got made a, redundant. I'm the lady Chose to be made redundant. I'm, I'm the girl of... Leisure, you're a girl of leisure, are you? At school, aren't you? Yeah, you're Good going to school. school. So we've had what? What, what have we had this week? We've had Darren did a, a new school. She went and saw a new school and met her teachers. Who her new teachers are and which class so, she's going to be in and which of her friends are going to be in her class. Chloe was there. Chloe's going to be in your class, which you're happy about. Yep, we left the EU. No, that was week before. Was that week before? Oh, so. Don't start on that. One thing that we're a bit annoyed about, this is, well, it's a knock-off, knock-on effect from the exit of the EU, is um, now, yeah. we forgot to get our dollars the yes. night before the vote. Yes, we did, <laughs> Clayton, didn't we? And they plummeted. Mm, yes. But the, the thing is, I actually told Faye and Dan from mm. Party of Two, I said, oh, you need to go and get your dollars tonight because they're going to drop. So he, Dan, I assume it was Dan said, oh great, yeah, we'll get those, thanks. So they ordered them and then we Can went to bed, woke up this, in the morning and the dollar had dropped about 15 so It was 119, cents. wasn't it? It was 119 or something and then it went, that's what the travel yeah. um, exchange place was offering, the bureau. Um, I think the actual, it put every, all the bureau, de the, the money exchange people went into meltdown. Bureau and, de change. The bureau de change, they all went into meltdown and just decided to, um, most of them weren't even trading, were they? Lower their prices you dramatically. Yeah, the first the first thing in the morning you were getting 119, and then I think it only went to 132 anyway, but it's still a 15 cent drop than it was the night before. 
but, but it, we're only going for a week so it's going to be it's back up to 1 30 now and it's not a great we say we've got a good deal on our disney tickets which we've ordered yeah we've just ordered some magic away so, base tickets yeah so we've got a good deal on them so make yeah. up for the, the short form so we'll see but anyway we're not going to november so we've got a long time to wait until the economy balances out and settles down a little bit so we just have to see what happens but anyway we're gonna head off now and we're gonna go and see our eldest and we're gonna go and get some stuff for tonight's roasty dinner roast dinner roast dinner why did i just do that roast dinner. <laughs> you don't even like roast dinners <laughs> So we'll catch up with you in a minute. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.